myself happy today. I'm going to talk to you about ungodly men. Let me bless five of y'all and I'll leave that alone. And hope that next Sunday all my members will come back to church. Let me bless you when I tell you this, baby. Anybody in this room right now, no matter how cute you are, how baggish you are, what kind of clothes you got on, Christian Dior, Hermes, Gucci, Lucci, Fendi, doesn't matter what you got on, you dressed up and dirty, baby. Let me bless you real quick. All of us came from the dirt. Let's stop acting like where we came from. I wish I had more help in now. Yeah. What made your dirt beautiful was God breathed in you. And when God breathed in you, what was dirty got clean. Stop going back to the dust, baby. Your body gonna do that soon enough. But while I'm alive, I'm gonna live the life that I preach about. The life that I seek about. I'm gonna live holy. Can I ask y'all a real question? Am I helping anybody? Listen, man. Right, listen, y'all didn't come to church to be judged. You came to church to be helped. And listen, can't listen. Stop, listen, stop going to feel good church. The choir song real good. The pastor didn't preach about my mess. I'm all right. You in trouble. I wish I had help. Baby, when you leave church, you ought to be kind of living a little bit. Ouch. But I'm going to get that together right there. Okay? Yeah. Pastor show got my business today. Baby, that's how you know you came to the right church. Stop church for the organ, for the drums, for the point. I need a word. So we are all, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. We are all undone men. I talk to myself every once in a while, y'all. I'm a loner. We're all undone men. Baby, Mr. Kane is visiting. We're all undone men. I'm undone. All y'all undone. Oh, yeah. You, you, what pastor? Let me bless y'all. Y'all think the past is some super, superman or something. Listen, I'm a man just like you. I'm just anointed for the task of being a shepherd. You have to pray double for me. I wish I had help now. Because the Bible says like this, if you strike the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. And that's why, baby, instead of judging your pastor, you ought to pray for him. That God keep him strong, keep his mind right. Wish I had help. Don't kick him while he's down, but pray for him till he get up. Somebody say, thank God for the preacher. That was weird. I didn't tell five of y'all something, baby. That he said, sit down, woe is me. Let me get done, y'all. I got to get y'all out of here in about 15, 20 minutes. I'm a man undone. I'm struck with silence, Minister Richardson. You know why? Because now I'm in the face of he that is holy. And Isaiah, let me get, let me get biblical for some of you theologians in here. The reason why Isaiah said, I'm struck with silent mama. Isaiah also was saying, I'm lost. I'm about to die. Why am I about to die? Because Isaiah had a knowledge of the scripture that says, yes, the presence of God's holiness is a consuming fire to the sinner. I wish I had no help now. In other words, when God shows up in the face of a sinner, he must surely die. I wish I had help now. Because no man can see the face of God and live. I'm going to preach it happy in a minute, but let me talk to you real good. So Isaiah was not crazy. He had a knowledge of the scripture, Captain. Yes, he did, but watch this. God does not, yes, omit the scripture, but God does pardon Isaiah. I wish I had him. Even though I'm low down and dirty. I wish I had some help right there. Even though I'm low down and dirty. I have enough help, that's all right, I'll do it later. Even though I'm messed up, tore up from the flow up, God is still a forgiving God. Oh God. I wish I had 12 people that was for real to holler, thank God for grace and mercy. You ain't gonna help me talk now. Let me break down grace for you. There are two types of grace that you must understand. First of all, can we have prevenient grace? The word P-R-E means before. Uh, what? Prevenience. Uh -huh, yeah. Prevenient, uh, Javon, pray for me because I'm happy. Prevenient, y'all sound like preventants. I wish I had some English students in here. What does preventive mean? Sometimes you got to take preventive measures or prepare. 
prepare some stuff before some other stuff happens. And so what God said here, I'll give you prevenient grace. Yes. What does that mean? It means y'all, I give you grace before the accident happens. In other words, baby, God knows you're going to fall, but he puts a cushion on the ground so you won't have an untimely demand. Why don't y'all touch your neighbor? I'm not ready yet. I'm practicing in my own head. And say, neighbor, thank God for prevenient grace. I can't hear nobody. Tell somebody else. Thank God. I'm practicing, I promise y'all, for prevenient grace. I don't deserve it. But God keeps on making a way. I thought I had a black church. I need to tell some that not only did he give you prevenient grace, <laughs> he gives us efficacious grace. Can I talk to a smart church, y'all? An educated church, y'all? Uh, yeah. He gives us a tomorrow efficacious grace. The word efficacious comes from the word uh, effectual. <clears throat> yeah, not effectual, but effectual. It's effective in your life. He gives you efficacious grace, which means, uh, he says, now, I know you don't deserve this, but my grace, I will give you so much grace uh, until it'll make you stop on the cheat on me. I'll do it again later, Angela, they tired. In other words, I love you so much, you'll feel bad every time you wanna walk out on me. You know what, black folk, uh, y'all so stuck up sometimes. Uh, I'll do it again. Uh, have you ever been loved so much, baby? Let me talk to the brothers. Uh, ladies, I'll holler at y'all later. Uh -huh, yes, uh, my male population down today, but I talked to the four or five I got here. Let me say this. Uh, have you ever been loved so much by a woman mm, until when you thought about messing up on her? You know, I got it too good at the house. Uh, y'all ain't gonna say that. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, well, ladies, uh, Talk to y'all like this. Have you ever had a man that loved you so good? Even though what you saw outside was fine. You said, you look good. But I still got some at the house. I can't mess it up. He loved me too good. He robbed me too good. I thought y'all was grown. I was like, hey, now. And I can't mess up when I got the house playing with you. And what God says, it efficacious grace says this. He said, I'll love you so much until you'll stop 